Bionic. Information. Hello, this is a short follow-up to our 25 lesser-known features of the Hyundai Ionic Electric video. This is 10 more lesser-known features, and the first few of these are suggested by viewers, so thanks for those, and here we go. Viewer suggestions. Side mirrors dip. So if you move the um, mirror adjustment switch to either the left or the right position, then when you actually um, select reverse, your side mirrors go down. Oh look, and there's my daughter, our able assistant for this video. Regen paddle shortcut. You can actually skip the regenerative braking levels from the maximum level three here to level zero or coast if you actually hold the regen paddle. There you go, and I'm showing it now going back the other way from level zero to level three in one go just by holding the paddle. And I'm finding that very useful and very handy. Emergency charging releases. Now there's an emergency release cable in the boot here. This is for the charge port door if it gets stuck by ice or if the 12 volt battery fails. Cool. So you just give a tug on this to open it. And there is another release here under this part of the floor, which does come out. And here there's a release for the charging cable if it gets locked in. So again, because of a 12 volt battery failure or some of the problem, you just yank this cable up here and there's a cable that goes underneath. Virtual engine sound system. The car has a virtual engine sound system, or VESS. It's an artificial sound at low speed to warn other road users. It operates up to about 15 miles an hour or 25 kilometers an hour. It can be switched off in the UK I think this is because it's classed as a horn, so it's not to be used in built-up areas between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. And it works in reverse too, as we showed. Charge door warning. So the car will tell you if the charging door is open when you start it with it open. Smart cruise control radar. The front radar distance seems quite long range. The manual says the longest follow distance is about 52 meters. I find it sees quite far out. The manual warns it may not see corners or undulations very well, and I find that's true. It also says it won't see cyclists. If cyclists are in the middle of the lane, I find it seems to be see them, but if they're off to the side, it doesn't. Best to always be alert. Little features. Speedo graphics. In the main instrument cluster, you've got the speed in the UK going around in miles per hour here, but actually there's a secondary display here, digital, that shows you it in kilometers per hour for some reason. So sometimes that's a bit confusing when you're driving and it might be nice if this was uh, miles per hour, but it's not. I guess it's useful if you're driving outside of the UK. Corresponding to these colors here, the blue for regen, the green for eco, and in the middle it'll go gray at the moment, it's not showing. This little swoosh here actually mirrors these colors when you're driving. Screen saver. In the settings menu for the Ionic, if you swipe right here you find this thing called screensaver and you get a choice here of an analog or none or digital um, I don't normally turn the display off while I'm driving and it doesn't work once you power the car off this display doesn't stay on but you can choose between a digital or an analog and then if you go back to the um, here or anywhere here if you go back and turn the display off then you get that and for the analog it looks like this so you can sort of turn the display off while you're driving and have these just, you know, minimal clock displays on if you want, or the default I think is just none, so most people probably never discovered it and probably most people never switch the display off while they're driving either, so it's an interesting little feature. Cleaning and noise features. The cup holders in the centre console have a rubber mat that you can take out to keep it clean. And there's even a kind of uh, cushion pad on the side of the seatbelt uh, buckles so that they don't make a noise in the car. There, you can see it, a little pad. Copper accents. So one of the things they did with the Hyundai Ionic Electric was to put in these copper accents to show that it was the electric variant. So there's electric pieces here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And there are some more here and here and then back on the air vent here and outside of the car there are strips of copper here and in the lights here here and here and then on the front of the car here 
If we've missed any other features, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye now.